All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of this Mandarin Orange Chicken. So the normal price was fifteen forty nine. It was three sixty off, so that's like eleven ninety, right? So just under twelve bucks. All right. Anyways, here you can see restaurant quality at home, crazy cuisine, battered chicken breast with rib meat and Mandarin Orange sauce. Okay. So you can see fully cooked, ready in twenty minutes. Air fry ready. All right. Thirteen grams of protein. Uh, chicken is raised with no antibiotics ever. Okay, inspected by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, so USDA. Keep frozen. Serving suggestion here. Net weight 66 ounces, four pounds two ounces. Okay, same information on here with the barcode. Okay, we get the nutrition facts and ingredients here. Here you can see the ingredients. Okay, breast meat, chicken with rib meat, water. Um, unbleached enriched wheat flour, niacin, which is niacin, reduced iron, thiamine, mononitrate, riboflavin, folic, and folic acid. All right, soybean oil, corn starch, and contains less than 2% of modified food starch. Salt, isolated soy protein, potassium car carbonate, dextrose, eggs, spices, whey solids, whey solids, carrageenan, uh, trichol, what? Tricalcium phosphate. Sodium bicarbonate, all right. Then the sauce is water, sugar, distilled vinegar, soy sauce, which is water, wheat, soybeans, and salt. Then you got modified cornstarch, spice, ginger, garlic, mandarin, orange flavor, and yeah. Then the allergens, egg, wheat, uh, eggs, milk, soy, and wheat. Okay, you can see the expiration used by July 26, 2024. We bought this in 2022, uh, August, all right, August 18, 2022. So that's nearly two years that you can keep this in your freezer. Wow. All right, you can see here, manufactured by Daily Foods, Inc. Okay, Santa Fe Springs, California. Then they got more information there. Again, the barcode for proof of purchase. You got the nutrition facts here, which is about one cup. Per serving, all right, 13 servings per container about, um, 260 calories per serving. You can see the amount of fat and everything, cholesterol has quite a bit of sodium and quite a bit of protein. There's a little iron, vitamin C, and calcium. All right, what else we got? Okay, I think there's not really much else on the other sides of the packaging. Yep, okay, so we got the back here. You got restaurant quality at home. Battered chicken breast with rib meat and mandarin orange sauce. Okay, you can see uh, brings unexpected restaurant quality to your table. Prepared with whole muscle white meat chicken. Savor the authentic flavors found only in traditional Chinese kitchens. Ready in minutes. We've got to be crazy to expect this kind of quality. That's crazy cuisine. Right, mandarin orange chicken serving suggestion. So they show you like different things you can put it with. I just eat it with rice or something. Okay. Anyways, then they got the heating directions. I am going to use the air fryer. You can pause and choose whichever method you want. But here you can see in the oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Thaw the unopened sauce packet in warm water until completely thawed and set it aside. Um, and I'm guessing that's the same instructions for all the other ones. Place contents of the bag. Uh, one bag of chicken. So there's multiple bags of chicken in here apparently. Okay, put on a baking sheet 15 to 18 minutes or until crisp. Uh, and or golden brown, place chicken in a bowl and pour the thawed sauce over the chicken. Use spatula, mix the sauce until it evenly coated and let it stand for two to three minutes before serving. Okay, pretty simple. And the stovetop method, same thing, thaw the sauce packet, then um, heat a quarter cup of oil in a large skillet, add the contents of one bag of chicken, heat for 15 to 18 minutes over medium heat, turn the chicken pieces regularly to heat evenly until crisp and or golden brown. Then put the chicken in a bowl and pour the sauce over it and then mix it up, same thing, let it stand two to three minutes. Okay, air fryer method, same thing, let it thaw the sauce, all right, air fryer set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, I don't think mine goes that high, I think it goes to 390. Anyways, you put the chicken in the air fryer basket and heat for 14 to 17 minutes or until crisp and golden brown and then place it in a bowl and same thing, mix the sauce around. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, it doesn't really matter which side. I don't see any easy way to open this. So we're just going to pull this flap open, I guess. Okay, and then we got this. We're going to pull that flap open, and here we go. So we got, wow, okay. So we got that. There's sauce packet here. 
sauce packet here. So there's two bags of chicken. The thing is, I'm not going to cook all of it at once because that's a lot. So, um, I'll leave this out. There's nothing in the box, okay? So you can see they have instructions here for how to heat it. So if you threw away the box, you actually have that. And it says it's not necessary to thaw it. Okay, then they tell you how to cook it, preheat the oven and all that. Um, then they have the, what is this? They only have the in oven instructions on the packaging, it looks like. So it looks like if you throw away the packaging, all you'll have is the oven instructions because that's all they put on here, right? So this bag is the same exact thing. You can see Crazy Cuisine, Keep Frozen, Heating Instructions, and then they just say the oven instructions here. Okay, so they only have the oven instructions on the bag, so keep that in mind, all right? There's the giant sauce packets. I don't know how I'm going to do this if I just make a little bit because I'm not going to cook a whole batch. I'm just going to cook... I'm just going to cook some some of it. Anyways, um, I guess I'll tear open a bag. I'll put some in the air fryer at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And we'll see uh, what I end up doing. Alright, so I'll, sh I'll see you guys at the air fryer. Alright, so here you can see I have it set at the max temperature, which, which is 390 degrees. Alright, I got the sauce in a bowl of warm water. And one thing to take note, this is frozen, but you can see it's still smushy. Okay. So, yeah, the sauce can't fully freeze to a rock-solid block. Anyways, I put the other half in the freezer. Um, I don't know if I need to let it preheat. Usually I don't let this thing preheat because once you open it, it like cools down really fast. So I'm going to tear the bag open, okay. And I'm just going to pour maybe a layer in there because, yeah, I don't think I need a full amount. That's probably already plenty. Is that like half? I don't know. That's probably a little bit less than half. Um, anyways, we're going to let this cook up. And then, yeah, I don't know how you would cook all, if you put the whole bag, you're going to have to constantly probably shake it around to get it to, to um, crisp evenly. I don't know, should I just pour the whole thing and then people will get not fresh chicken? <laughs> later I don't know um, I, I guess let's just pour it all no I don't know many people that are gonna like heat the entire bag so this is about half I think okay so I'm gonna let this cook I think they said about 17 minutes or something so we'll set it to 17 minutes right is that what it said 14 to 17 minutes so I'm gonna actually I guess start it at 14 and if it's not done, then I'll cook it longer. But um, yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in about 14 minutes. Bye. All right, so it just finished 14 minutes of cooking in the air fryer. Um, they do seem pretty crispy. I might need a bigger bowl for this. So actually, what I'm gonna do is I'll dump the water from this sauce bowl Okay, I'll be back. I'll dump this out. We'll put these in there and then we'll toss the sauce in it. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back. So I dumped the water out and then I kind of dried it a little bit with a paper towel. We're gonna pour these in there. Okay, they do sound really crispy. Maybe I didn't need to cook it so long because I only did half the bag. Okay, so we're gonna get a close up, closer up view here. How am I gonna just pour half the sauce and only use half the sauce? Let's see. Does this packet have a easy tear spot or am I gonna need scissors? Okay, looks like I'm gonna need scissors cause I don't see a little slit anywhere to tear this open. So let me cut a little slit in here and we'll do that. Someone took my scissors and didn't put them back. Okay, let me go find some scissors, I'll be back. All right, so I couldn't find my scissors. Um, so I just slit the top off here a little bit to have an opening. I think my brother used it upstairs and then left it up there. Anyways, we're just going to pour, I don't know how I'll get half, how will I get, how will I mark half? I'll just pour a bunch on it and that should probably be fine, okay? Okay, that's probably more than enough. I think there's still quite a bit of sauce left. Okay. 
All right, so let's go ahead and toss them around. Did I overcook it or something? They're so dark brown. Okay. I guess you can adjust it to how much if I... I don't know how much sauce since I didn't do the whole packet. Alright, anyways, we'll stir this around. I'm assuming the fried pan method will probably be the best because you add oil to it. Um, but this one's probably the easiest method to just throw it in the basket, air fry it, and then, yeah. Okay, so it looks like it's all stirred together. I think we should be good. Might need a little more sauce here, but I, I think let's go ahead and try it. All right, we got this. Whoa. That vinegar hits hard. <laughs> mm, pretty tasty. Okay, a little more sauce. I'm going to tell you now, it's a very strong vinegar that hits you. Um, I wouldn't, to me, I wouldn't say this tastes like any orange chicken I've tried at a restaurant. I would say I prefer, um, like Panda Express orange chicken. Hmm. But it's not bad. Alright. Does have a little bit of a crisp to it. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I overcooked it, because I don't think it should be that brown. But yeah, not bad. Hmm. Okay. So this isn't, to me, it's not a replacement for restaurant orange chicken. But it's pretty good for something you can just whip up so easily in your kitchen. All you gotta do is heat it, bake it, fry it, whatever. Um, yeah. Um, maybe if somebody tries the pan oil method, let me know. Um, I probably should have only cooked half of it in the air fryer. Um, I guess maybe I'll cook a little bit in the pan just to see. Okay. Let me do that real quick. I'm gonna move to a pan and I'll be back. All right, so we're at a pan now. You can see we got some oil going, heating up. This one you have to cook quite a while. Um, let's see what it said, 15, 15 to 18 minutes. Okay, so I don't know about that because I'm not gonna cook a whole bunch. I'm just gonna put a few just to taste it. Okay, that's probably already too many for me because I already have the rest of them. Um, yeah, all right, so 15 minutes, we're just gonna move them around in the oil. 15 minutes, okay. We're just gonna move them around in the oil. Kinda stir them around, let them keep cooking. And yeah, all right, so I'll see you guys in about 15 minutes. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna tell you right now, that 14 minutes, however long they tell you to cook these things, uh, I guess on all the instructions seem like way too long. I'm gonna lower the temperature a bit because it looks like it's already gonna get burnt on the outside. It's been how long? Four, three, four minutes? There's no way if I cook it for 14 minutes, it's gonna all be burned. I think the instructions are because if you cook the whole bag, you're gonna constantly be flipping them and switching their places. Um, but right now, it looks like these might already be done. I don't know if I cut it open, if it's cooked. Woo! That might have been a bad idea. Yeah, I think it's already cooked inside. So, yeah, um, depending on what you're doing, if you're not cooking the whole bag, probably just ignore the instructions because this looks already, this looks fully cooked already. There's no way, if I keep cooking this 10 more minutes, this is all going to be a pile of ash. So... I probably should have not cooked it so long in the air fryer as well. Anyways, um, I'm going to push these aside. We'll shut this off. Again, it probably only cooked for like four or five minutes on this pan. Um, the pieces are kind of thin. I don't know if it comes already fully cooked or not. Let me see on the box. Give me a second and I'll be back. 
All right, so I don't see anything about it saying if the chicken is raw or fully cooked or anything like that. But as you can see, <laughs> this stuff is like already almost burning. So yeah, there's no way you, you're going to cook this like in a pan like this small amount for 14 minutes. It's all going to be just charred, burnt, crisp. All right, so I'm going to get a small bowl, take these out, put a little sauce on them, and we'll see how they how they taste. But again, I probably overcooked these again. All right, so we're just going to take these out. All right, here you go. We got these. You can hear the pan sizzling. Let's move over to the same place as the air fried ones here. Okay, you can actually hear these sizzling a bit. Okay, let's go ahead and get some sauce in there. Okay. Okay, it's a good amount, I think. Let's set the sauce aside. Let's toss them around in the sauce. Actually, I might need more sauce. Okay. So now I'm going to be comparing some cold ones to these. Let's get some more sauce on it, I guess. Okay. I think I need to let them cool a little bit. Maybe I should cut a raw one open just to see what it looks like inside, if it looks like raw or cooked chicken. Okay, here we go. Hot. Much crispier. This now is probably all soggy. Mm -hmm. This also kind of burned a little bit. <laughs> Here you can see kind of the amount of breading around it. Maybe. You can see kind of the shell of breading around it. Okay, I'm going to cut a frozen one open so I can show you guys what it looks like inside. Let me actually... show you the breading okay here you can see the breading layer is pretty thick actually okay I think this is all breading that I just ripped out there's no chicken in this piece that I that's here yeah that was all breading so you might be getting a whole bunch of bread and not much chicken <laughs> Not too bad. Restaurant stuff is definitely a lot better in my opinion, flavor-wise. But um, yeah, let me go ahead and cut open a frozen one and show you guys what's inside. Let's go move to a chopping block. All right, and yeah, the chopping block is stained. Let me try and find a thicker, bigger piece that I can kind of cut open. Okay, maybe this one. All right, so I'm gonna cut this and we'll see what it looks like inside from frozen. Okay, and I think the chicken's actually, is that cooked or raw? No, actually that might be raw chicken. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's raw chicken. You can see kind of how it looks like icy and stuff. I think that's raw chicken. So anyways, um, make sure you cook this. I think, I think it's raw chicken inside. It doesn't say on the packaging anywhere that it's raw to fully cook. Um, but it also doesn't say it's fully cooked. So, better to be safe than sorry. Make sure it's, excuse me, heated thoroughly. Cook it all the way. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Okay, after heating it in the air fryer for a minute or so, um, it actually looks like it might be cooked chicken. So, yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next one. Bye.